number one hard seltzer in the world and the official hard seltzer of Day Drinking with Dog. Ditch the malt, add tequila. Welcome back, Day Drinking with Dog, on this, I don't know, second straight day of awful rain. Uh, here's the April showers, they say. Bring May flowers, let's hope. Uh, I just got back from my doctor's appointment for my stomach. Uh, the whole fucking goddamn health system's fucked. Takes me forever, six months to get an appointment, and now another probably six months to get a fucking procedure done, so whatever. But uh, that being said, uh, I drove back from Guilford, but my man across from me, I haven't seen you in, it's been probably since before COVID, right? Oh yeah, way before that. Yeah. Oh, first of all, my, let me introduce my esteemed guest, Mr. Eddie Brazel. Hey now. Uh, Eddie Braz, he is one of the founding fathers of the security staff at Stonebridge Restaurant. How long have you been out of there now? Uh, it's, it's been a since while. Since 2013. 2000, oh, wow. It's been that long? Yeah, man. Holy shit. Let me, let me tell you something, though. I still have people asking for you <laughs> to this day. And what they do is they say, um, where's that big black guy that works security? And now we have Zeke right. that works in the parking lot. And I'm like, oh, he's out in the parking lot. He's like, no, not that guy. He goes, no. I go, oh, Eddie? They're like, yeah. I'm like... I probably had like five jobs ago, but uh, I used to work at Colony, uh, yeah. Colony Rental, yeah. and and uh, I don't know. He teaches kids, and I don't fucking know what he does now. Yeah. But uh, so, how you been, buddy? Can't complain. Can't complain. Nobody knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 everybody's. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we're actually doing the show. I'm glad you reached out to come back on, or not back on, but come on. Yeah. And uh, like, this is a great like the clear the air kind of show where I don't have to fucking say anything anymore. You listen to the show, you know where Eddie is. Right. You know? Like, when I left to go to that bar for a little bit and came mm. back, you know, everyone's like, oh, how's the bar? For fuck like seven years, people ask me, how's the bar? You still, why are you still bartending? I'm like, dude, I'm not there anymore. What are you doing? Like, what do you think? You think I'd still be here if I was fucking owning that place? <laughs> fucking retard. It's okay. Like, hey. But uh, we had some good times over the years at, uh, at, at Stone Daniel Street. Ooh, yeah. Stonebridge. Uh, I like reminiscing about Daniel Street a lot. Like Stonebridge is a Stonebridge. It's just like it's just kind of the same thing every year. It's kind of, well now it's morphed into you know Saturdays or college nights now. Right. Well, it used to be all locals. Right. You know we kind of uh, did that to ourselves in a good way. Club Bouger. You know right. Well we you know we started doing their graduation party and it morphed into them realizing yeah. oh shit we don't. Like, you know, and the schools got bigger and bigger. Mm. And, you know, the C grade, God bless them, but they can't hold So it went from people. Wednesday on. Right. So now it's, you know, they, they don't, they only come down Saturdays, though. Like, like, like now, like if we get a good stretch of weather until they graduate, they'll kind of come down Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm. But once they graduate, they scatter. And then in the fall, it's just Saturdays because they got a lot of stuff on campus. Right. They're, doing. they're just back to school. They got football and all that shit. But, um, but yeah, it's you know, so Stonebridge is still Stonebridge. You know, we had some you know funny memories back in the day there. Oh yeah, <laughs> Daniel Street was but, but Daniel was, Street was the shit. That's a new entity by itself. Yes, because you never knew what crowd you were gonna get. Ooh. Every night was different. <laughs> Dudes, please left. You know, and it was just like it was a good time though. Like bands. <clears throat> that's when the bands were actually pretty good. Yeah, dude, I I let me tell you, I worked those. Those Tuesday nights mm -hmm. that were uh, they were called Takeover Tuesdays, and it was all the local kind of heavy metal, hard rock, yeah. punk rock, uh, just dudes screaming in microphones, you know, playing electric basses and cellos. Like it was just like every every night there was like seven bands, and some nights were like, okay, I need earplugs. Like this yeah. is a little stupid. Like why is this guy without his shirt on running around the restaurant fucking screaming? <laughs> Like, I don't even know what he's saying. Right. You know, and, and Phil, Phil Cohen, I love the death. I mean, his band, for Christ's sakes, fucking oh, yeah. sang in an alien language. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. But I tell you, the acoustics in that place, oh. the speaker system, whatever John did, holy smokes. I don't know if he did it, but... No, no, he was... He that was, soundboard was unbelievable. That soundboard was something else. I wish I had that soundboard in this fucking studio right now. <laughs> That'd sound so much better. Uh, 
He's one so thing, great. Yeah, thank you. Uh, one thing I do remember is like like all the like the bigger bands that would come through mm-hmm. always raved about our sound system. Yeah. Like whether it was our you know with the monitors in the front and, and how they like the sound check took like no time. Right. Like they were like, all right, we're good. We're good. Yeah. You know, and they made the acoustics. It was a good little room, good space. The bar was off, out of the way. You know, that's you know, when Eli's took over, I mean whatever. They want to be different, I get right. it. Like they want their own thing and they're a restaurant. But look what they've become. Yeah, put the bar in the center. They put the bar in the center. Now what are they? All they they're fucking closed two, three days a week and they're just a nightclub now. So I think what I think you should do, get a Powerball ticket tonight. I got five, uh, ten. I got ten of them. And then just buy that place back. I don't want it back. I don't want to get back into this business, dude. If I win a billion dollars, the last thing I want to do is worry about liability of owning one of these places That's and then get sued. Yeah, but you know, you know, different name. Wells Fargo Inc. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something so Wellsy Doggy. You know, something crazy. But I mean. That would probably what? so I'm 50 and now I'm just gonna hang. I don't. I don't want to. I, I I barely like walking through there at night. No, oh, okay. Like I wouldn't go to Stone Ridge on a Saturday night at my age. I haven't been there. Either. Right, and I'm just. I don't mind it working it. Like I'm behind. The, I'm behind it. I'm not in it. Right. I wouldn't be in it. Yeah. Like I love Stone Ridge on a Sunday with the bands. That's awesome. Oh, you guys still do that? Oh yeah. Sundays are my favorite day there. Oh. And now we're getting some of the bigger ones, like the net, like the Nashville night ones. We're getting like. You know, uh, what's it? Kick that does the, they. Uh, you remember the band Kick? They used to play at uh, at some, uh, Daniel Street. Are they Street. like an eighties band? Up yeah, yeah, kind of like a cover band. band. Uh, oh no, sorry, not Kick. The Zoo. Oh, okay. The Zoo. And oh, the they Z- changed their name. No, no, no. The, or no, no, different band? bands. Okay. Kick. Uh, Kick was the band that used to work the Sacred Heart Party. No, Zoo. Oh, okay. Is another big band, kind of Hartford based. Yeah. But they. Uh, they started a Zach Brown cover band that but, kicks ass. Is that the one? With the- the, they have the guy and the girl singing. Yes, yes. One okay. girl, there's like one girl with a vine plays the right. violin okay. and shit. Yep. Yeah, they're awesome. And uh, so they they play a couple times this summer, and it's just it's just fucking great. Good crowd. Well, you gotta it's let me know. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I will get down with the two step. Yeah, hey, listen, Buck. You'd fit right in with that crowd, Eddie. I'm telling you right now. Just put on your boots and uh, put on my Beyonce shirt. <laughs> so let's let's get the update on Eddie. What what's been going on with you? No. Um, so you uh, left Stonebridge in 2013. Yep. And Weren't then, you working at Two Rows for a little while? Yeah, I was helping a friend out. Okay. Because uh, they didn't have their stuff together correctly, and they were just learning. Um, you mean on the security side? Yeah. And the funny part was uh, my cousin was part of it. So it was just like helping them out, tell, telling them how to do the festivals and how to ID people, look for IDs, what to look for. Right. All kinds of good stuff. So I was doing that, and I was just like, yeah, why am I doing this, though? <laughs> I'm like... What, are they paying you all right? Or? Yeah, yeah, but still, it's just... I mean, it's good people, but nothing compares, and I, I hate saying this, but I love saying it, there's nothing like being around Stonebridge and you guys. Right. Like, all the people that you think about that been there yeah. and have worked there, it's just different. And it's like you go to somewhere else, and you're like, Ooh. "It's a it's a hard transition." Yeah. At first. Yeah. Even yeah. still. Yeah. I mean, it, you it's, don't think you can go somewhere now and you'd still think about Stonebridge, like yeah. ten years later? Yeah. It's yeah. just it's it's because you're like, oh, because Jer would be like, "Yo, hey, 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 yeah, that guy. Right. or right. Campy, oh, Campy, yeah, <laughs> he's yelling at everybody. I got a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <Go on>! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Saying crazy stuff. It's right. just like. You know, Frankie and all those guys underneath. Yeah, Carm. Uh, the yeah. Carm underneath the tent, em- Emily, and then the back deck people. So it's like, you know, Lynch and yeah. I forgot who else did Jay. Jay. Jay did that and somebody else. The back deck? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, right it's just, just so, so many people. Right, but there were so many people. Right. And they were great people. So it was like you knew no matter how bad of a day you were going to have, at some right. point you're going to smile. Yeah. And like, oh, my name's shitty. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's what I feel with, like, a lot of security guards now. Like, you know, we, I, you know Angelo, and obviously yeah. Nikki's still there, and, and uh, Lou. And, but we get a lot of, <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of, like, you know, I got a lot of new guys. Right. I, you know, our staff is probably 20 large, you know, you know, 12 on a night or 50, whatever they fucking do. Right. 
But like I get it, like everyone, like this is my only job. But I get like all these guys coming in are coming from work. Right. So I can tell when they get there, they're like, oh fuck, you know. And then like me or Camp will just like say something stupid, and then I'll see like a little wry smile out of Angelo, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the night goes on, and they fucking toss somebody, and I'm like. And they're like, yeah, that felt good. <laughs> you know, like, now, by midnight, they're like, all right. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Eating the pizza. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See when I tried to grab the guy by the arm? Like, you know, but that's that was that was the great part of it. You know, you just like, you can't find that anywhere. Yeah. Especially in that kind of place. Like, I, I think, I think, any, I think our owner is so fortunate to have the staff that he's had for so long in a place that, one, in an industry that has turnover constantly oh yeah and to run the front of the house the way it's run i mean you know he treats us well i mean i'm yeah. not saying anything i'm just oh, like absolutely. you you could go across the country and not maybe find a handful of places that have you know and you know what's funny is like downtown milford almost as a whole like like sbc has gone through its changes but like there's still the core guys there yeah you know unfortunately seven c's has kind of done a complete turnover really but guy, yeah but the guys at archie's like you know todd jay scotty they're all there they, they've been there forever and you know right. like it's just a great community and i, mm-hmm. I mean i don't travel the world but yes, you know you but you but you know you go to you go to some place you've never been and you could you could tell right just the, being in the business you're like these guys don't know what they're doing no these guys do not know what they're doing. And let alone, you could tell when you walk through that threshold yeah. at Sunbridge, like, oh, this atmosphere is awesome. Yeah. Like, right. Well, you'd be like, oh, look to my left. Okay, there's those two guys that are yeah. always there. If they're not there, is there something wrong? Right. And then you look at the tent. You're like, okay, okay. Like, f- right. Remember the incident? It just didn't happen long ago. I think it was like parade day a year ago up in Hartford at the. Uh, Oh shit! What was the name of the bar? And they like literally like jack this dude like down the stairs and out the door. Oh, these bouncers and like he they it was like on video and they sued the place. They shut the place down. It was, oh yeah, um, they lost uh, the their, brickyard or something. Or yeah, one of those places. They lost their license. And yeah, everything. like like that would like never happen. It's no, bridge. we hold you. Right. Yeah, we hold you. <laughs> we hold you. You know, and we might hold you tightly. Yes. <laughs> Please let me go. No, you may lose a flip flop or you know, a shoe yeah. or so. I mean, we've been sued because everyone's going to sue you. Right. You know. Yeah, you um, guys got some dangerous rules now. So. Yeah, like the state sucks. Yeah. You know, it's always sucked. It's always been that way. You know, you always have to, but you know that we're proactive about it, and you know, I think we do a great job there. And, you know. Of course. I wish you were still there. I know that. Oh, yeah. Well, believe me. Yeah. I, I, I'll probably be still up on the deck yeah. <laughs> drinking coffee, hanging out. Like, hey. Didn't you catch like people fucking one year on the oh, back deck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lady was cheating on her uh, husband with the... Uh, it was like parade day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. The, with the Aussie guy. <laughs> from, from the fo- I'm a footballer. <laughs> Just let me finish, mate. Let me finish. <laughs> oh, dude, are you serious? Let me finish. What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, that was... that was disgusting. Different down under, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was, it was so funny. I think... What was it? I think Emily was working that. Yeah, she was there. I've never Susan, seen the video. Susan, Emily Susan. Oh, 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 tall Emily, it's Frankie's tall, wife. Yeah, Frankie's yeah, wife. yeah, yeah. And I was just, she's like, I think they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to the bar. Like, wow. And then I just remember grabbing him, and then somebody saying, "Oh, that her husband walked out earlier, and they oh, had a Jesus. fight, and, oh, then, and then, boom. then she just picked up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's what you call trash. Yeah." And I, the funny that we're talking about this is like, and sometimes you got to take out the trash. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> like that parking lot is filthy. Oh yeah, with the stuff that goes on. Yeah. So that that's uh, the, you know, you're like, hey, I meet you here. There we go. Yeah. In the parking lot. Yeah. On top of somebody's car. Right. Oh, in yeah. front of somebody. Yeah. By the porta potties. Yeah. Which is kind of nasty. Yeah. I mean, alcohol <laughs> makes you do funny things, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I would ever do it. I mean, I don't know. I'm also 50. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be, hey, me too. You're, you're, we're in the club. Right. We're in the club. We're in the club. Now. The Golders. 
Uh, I do want to say happy birthday to Sean Healy. Uh, he passed away Salute a few day. years ago. Um, I had his brother on last week with his one of his best friends, Joe Nagel. Today is his would have been his birthday, and happy birthday in heaven. We are drinking Tullamore Dew in his honor. It was his favorite cocktail, Tully. just like I drank last week because Todd was on the show. Tully. And one more shout out to Grayson Guns. Uh, last night I did the little uh, poo poo. Uh, class to get my poo poo license i thought you already had that no i haven't i've never had one i've taken the class before i took it like 15 years ago i just never followed yeah, through because i thought you i was like you were yeah. like yeah i'm about to get this. yeah I'm but then like the process was just like still kind of a pain in the ass back then yeah. like even though you took the course you had to go through all this shit and i just kind of like just you know and then the course only lasts for so long like the certificate right so uh so i took it last night and um, if you can see my beautiful headshot up there and belly shot, don't mind the ones in the yellow. Just look yeah, at the two directly in the red. It's nice. It's nice, right? Nice. We were shooting. Uh, Nine uh, Glock, Glock 45. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, now I'm, uh, I am I can't wait to get my CCL sticker mm -hmm. on the back of my car. Oh. And have the fucking, you know, the, the, the bull ball bag hang down, too. Like, yeah. just, you know, like, just that's, that's what... I mean, if you if you're if you have that license, that's what you that's automatic. You put I, that on your car. I think you should get it. Mancho, mancho. <laughs> and no one will fuck with me, right? Right. I don't even need a gun. I just throw the sticker on and the balls. Yeah. And it's like, dude, yo, I already got the beard. I'm fucking. Who's fucking with Maybe me? You might have to get a full range. <laughs> no, but like, just like you know what? It's funny. Is like, even if you're like, even if you have a gun license, and I don't have mine yet. Obviously, I'm going through the process. Right. But like. I'm a very like studious person. I like to like really absorb information when I hear it. Like there are like a lot of rule changes in this state that yeah. happened in the last couple of years that like if you've owned a gun say for five years, just look it up. Yeah. Like there's really like like you can actually open it's CCL, but you can actually open carry now. Right. Um, but but I mean there's a lot of butts to it. Like and all the butts are online. Like go look at that. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna carry in the in the car no I, I think i'm just gonna have it in the house just for just for home protection like if i'm out of the house it's usually at a bar and i don't need a gun in a bar. right well, you, you know, can't, no, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't bring it anyway because right, right. right how many do we <laughs> hey buddy listen you know yeah, but I come in here all the time. Yeah, I'm a cop. Doesn't fucking matter. Dude. If you're a cop, you should know better. Don't bring your gun I'm in. I'm a part of that gang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Buddy. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. When I'm in the band, though. Right. No. Were you, you were still with us when uh, when Daniel Street was sold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it became... Uh, it became something for, it, for a little it bit. It became um, the, 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 the Western Bar. Uh Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The little and country that, bar. Yes, uh, Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally's. And there. remember, they had that little biker gang out there, mm. and they were like, it was like right in the height of uh, that TV show, uh, Sons of Anarchy, right? And like the dudes had their prospect jackets. Yeah. And I think it was a. I think you might have been. There was a Sunday night. Oh no, I was we, there. And oh. we were like locking, not locking up, but kind of closing up. And the dude got on his bike and tried to do like a little fucking. One eight or three sixties in the street yep. and lost control of his fucking. He took yep. a header and a bike went flying. We're just like, Good old we just started clapping at him like you fucking moron. Good old Milford kid. Yeah. Oh god. But he's the same one that used to ride up and down around the circle, just loud. Piping. Just really loud. Yeah. Yeah. He was the one that just like I don't I don't know if you remember, but he's the one that you know how we got there early in the day. Yeah. And you guys were setting up. He was the one. He's the kid. That was on the bike, just staring at you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was, was the kid. That was yeah, the one. That was, that was the one that wiped. Yep. Oh, he was. God. He was the one that was staring because he didn't get into the other club yeah. that we all know about. Yeah. But he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm somebody. I'm somebody." Yeah, yeah. And then he would go down to Alphas and to get kicked out of Alphas. So it was just like, "Okay, dude, whatever." He's a biker with no home. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of them. Right. Right. Like a lot of them. You know, it's so, just I don't know. I, I I I that was a great show. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I just think they depicted it in a way that, unfortunately, people that wanted to be in a, that lifestyle, that's not the reality of what oh, these it's clubs absolutely are. not. You know, like, like you're like you're. Oh, what's what was that little manager dude, the little blonde guy? 
curly hair. Of, oh, from the from Stonebridge. Oh, from Stonebridge. Like, like from the show. Like what are you yeah. talking about? The little hey, boy. Steve. Is no, that his name? No, blonde curly hair. Yeah, he was tall. Oh. Oh yes. Uh, shit. I think I just talked to him the other day. Not talked to him. I think I texted him. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And uh, then you remember the time he he told Caesar, AK. Yeah. And he was like, Eddie's a part of them. <laughs> I don't we know. always thought you were one eight. Yeah. So I was just like, Nah, this people I grew up with, and they're like, oh, He's part of them. They were talking about him, like. Or eight one was it eighty one eighty one I said one eight eighty one one eight seven yeah uh, and I was just like dude what are you talking about yeah like who are you trying to get in trouble here yeah and then but you you had your you had your you know your ear on the fucking what do you call it on the was on it nose the grindstone nose the ground you you knew what was going on yeah you knew the people you knew who yeah. you needed to know right and you had a rapport with them right right. And that was, that was that was the good thing. Right, right. And it was just like, okay, here we go. Some of these people were here because they were like, hey, man. Because that's when we started doing all the rules on the thing. Yeah. Oh, the, the, yeah, no colors. No, no colors. Yeah. And the next thing you know, I'm putting a whole we bunch. We still do that. Yeah, a whole bunch of, whole bunch of cuts in the yuck. And I'm, and <laughs> in I'm the right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I tell you, though, they are so respectful. Like, they get it. Right. Like, they, they are either, like, they go and take their jacket off, or they say, thanks, I'll go somewhere else. Right. They're not like, what the fuck? Mm. I'm fucking... Like, maybe that's just post the show's over kind of thing, nope. and no one watches the Mayans, you know? Yeah, like, right. <laughs> it's over now. Let, let, let us the dude gone. died like this, going into his fucking truck. <laughs> oh, that's what happened? You didn't I see the end? I don't... I, oh, you never watched it? Mm-mm. It's just like I've never watched... Uh, Yellowstone either. I neither have I. That's the one I, that I need to watch. I haven't. That's what I have to watch too. Breaking Bad? Nope. No. Oh, God. Because I, I, I don't watch much TV either, but I watch the big ones, but I I have not watched uh, Yellowstone. Yeah. So I'm like, we we have to figure out because all these bikers around, you're like, everybody's respectful. Right. It's just you get one or two by themselves. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, let me show a boat. Right. Like, I, I still remember the time. They want to prove I, themselves. Right. Right. And it was the funniest thing. It's like, I still remember it. I'm like, Jer, I'm like, your people are here. And he, you're like, what? I'm like, East Boston. East Boston, he's 81 is here. <laughs> Not one of them was over 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't remember that. It was, it was hysterical. I was just like, but they stayed on the other side of Daniel Street. Oh. They stayed on the oh, Daniel yeah, Street yeah, side. Yeah. They never came over to Stonebridge. Were they in for like a funeral or something? Like, why were they in town? I, uh, I believe there was a gathering in Bridgeport yeah. for a while. Yeah. So I think that's why they were there. Yeah. Well, they're not, man. We Dude, I, I know a couple of them. Like, I just I just know them yeah. from coming into Stonebridge for right. years. Uh, they don't wear their colors there. No. I, you know me. I'm a chatty Kathy. Yeah. I talk these people up, and they just tell me. They don't tell me, like, right out. But right. Like, I... I get it. I, I, I get, get it. it. I get it. But I, I see you on the street. Yeah, buddy. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so along with your gun permit, when you get that, yeah. and your balls, yep. and your CZ, and your sticker, yep. might as well get a motorcycle. <laughs> so actually, my father passed away. He has a Harley in his garage. Fat boy or? A roadster. Oh, okay. Oh, you look good on that. Uh, I have vowed, probably since I was 16 years old, never to ride a motorcycle. Ooh. Just lost friends and it yeah. never stopped right never stopped i hear you i mean it's 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 either somebody i know or somebody that i know knows somebody that died right there's like a, it's like the seven separations of fucking kevin bacon like i just there's it's just it's every summer right there's it's just like clockwork and i i don't and it's it's 99 percent not their fault right you know and it's 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 a driver Distracted right. on their phone, on the phone, or just not Arguing, paying attention, crying, right? Whatever it is, eating fries, you know, yeah, yeah. So, it's, so yeah, so I'll know. We're selling it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe you want a trike? I mean, I could. I don't know. What are those? What are those things? The, the spider, the no, cam, what? the cam thing, the can hams with the three wheels. Yeah, yeah drive around. Right? Uh, yeah. Gun all. There's out. one guy that drives around Stonebridge all the time with like the music. The burgundy one, blaring, just the blaring. old guy, right? Yeah, he's older. Yeah, the older yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, It's a burgundy bike. Oh god, I don't know. I think if he's no, it's a, it's a it's one of those. Uh, you sit in it. Mm-hmm. It's not a bike. 
No, but I know he's an older guy. Oh, I yeah. think he's a veteran. They're all something. fucking older in Milford. The dudes that drive like Lambos in Milford are like sixty. Oh, you got Lambos now? <laughs> yeah, a couple. Woo! We have a we have a uh, a nice Mac- a black McLaren, and I just drove by uh, coming here on New Haven Ave, and he got it. Dude, the whole front end smashed. I was like, oh man, really? It's not the dude that used to come into Stonebridge all the time. No, they, it's I'm one of the dealer. owners. No, one of the owners of the like. I, I I don't know the guy, but I've seen him before at some car shows because we take my girlfriend's son a lot to the car. He loves cars, so mm. I've seen the car a lot around town. And okay. I was like, oh man, but you know, there's there's some nice cars in Milford. I mean, nothing crazy. Mm. There's a fucking Tesla Plaid in Milford. Like that's like I am not an electric car guy, but right. if I had the money, that'd be the only electric car. Oh, I'd pretty buy. soon you're gonna be. Oh, oh, pretty soon. No, no. Listen, no, dude. I'm gonna be like fucking Mel Gibson and fucking. <laughs> I am gas till I die. Twenty thirty five. You got to live, buddy. <laughs> dude, they already pushed back in Connecticut. Well, Lamont's just like, dude. I, I don't know if we're ever gonna pass this. Like, you're it's never. Just, it's you can't. It's not feasible because the the problem is they haven't come up with the right technology yet, and they're forcing this technology on us that isn't feasible yet. Right. And I'm not a scientist, but like it's kind of common sense. Like these batteries to just like uh, what's the school? Uh, Branf- Branford? No. Easy. Oh, you're Branford. Sorry. Easy. No, there's a school in Connecticut that's switching to all electric buses. Yeah. Oh, that's Branford. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty million dollars, baby. <laughs> Tax money. <laughs> easy, easy, easy on Bradford, bro. Easy, baby. <laughs> BFD Hornets, baby. Yeah, we're going on. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I can't find anybody. Can't find drivers. I saw that they're already hiring drivers, and it's like a year out. Yeah, it's a company. It's a company that's doing it. I, like it's like a brand new company too. Yeah. Uh, oh. Really, you're gonna trust sixty million dollars in this company? You don't even know if it's a scam. <laughs> well, I, hey, it's Branford, baby. Let's start. with we'll start. Let's start with that first. Like, hey, whatever, dude. It's it's gonna happen, no matter which way we look at it. It because the batteries they still have to dig up, which are probably the worst things ever anyway, and. Connecticut won't let you have um, uh, sunflowers or you make your own power uh, or store right. your own power because they don't sunflowers? want sunflowers. Sunflowers, it's which I have in Wyoming. Sunflowers come up and store the power. Oh, 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 oh yeah, sun, yeah, 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 yeah. Which the school, the new school in, I believe in New Britain or something like that, a new school has it. And they weren't supposed to have it. Really? Yeah. So it's like you're not going to generate that much power. It's bad enough that we got to pay. How are you going to get a whole f- like? First of all, where does Branford come up with sixty million? Oh, we got a lot of money, baby. Dude, I used to. So when I was in high school in Madison, in Madison, Madison, okay, okay, easy. We, I used to. My friends all played soccer, and we'd go to the games, and we would chant. It's like you know when you're in, <laughs> poor boys when you're eighteen. <laughs> We would chant from across the fuck because we were down at we we're down at they would Bramford would play us at home at Surf Club, and I don't I, I didn't start the chant, but we would just chant like how's the low income housing? Like, we would chant shit like that across the field at them. How dare you? And I didn't even know what it really meant back then. I was I was just like along with the ride, like yeah, how's the low income housing? You know, like. I don't know. And then I think they had a kid with like that got AIDS back then, and then we started doing an HIV oh, yeah. positive thing to them. Yeah. Like, how cruel were we back then? We were bad. We were bad. We were bad. But at the same time, I'm going to have to say HIV something. HIV positive. Fucking Dolly Madison. Oh. Those are Branford people. I was just there the other day. They're, those are Branford people. Not the other day, like a month ago. Just the same. Yeah. So that's where you play your soccer. And those are people from Branford. Well, now. Meredith. Now, too. back then, they weren't. No, they weren't. Absolutely no. not. You know where they all? You know where they all went from the Dolly Madison? Mm. Well, you know why it's brand for people now? Because they can't afford to go to the Madison Beach Hotel. Easy. That's where all the Madison people <laughs> went to. <laughs> we have Leeds Island, sir. Where I'm from. Yeah. Listen, it, it's a good time. It doesn't matter. Hey, listen, dude. I, 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 dude, this is fucking thirty something years ago. Yeah. Well, <laughs> times haven't really changed. I don't want to say the man's name. That you guys were HIV and people. Yeah, he was a good dude. He yeah. was a he was probably he probably viewed himself viewed himself. He was probably on MTV twice as a Michael Jackson performer. 
Oh, really? Yeah. That's now. Now you're making me feel bad. It's okay. He, Is he still with us? He died. I don't know. Magic Johnson's still fucking alive. How the fuck do I know? We didn't. We didn't, we didn't have that kind of money back then. <laughs> Nobody had that kind of technology. Oh, Leeds Island didn't have Dr. that kind of money. <laughs> Doctor Fauci was giving him injections. I don't know. Like literally, uh, he. I'm uh, not sure that's the guy we were talking about. <laughs> But we're the no, same no, age, no, so it no, probably no. was. It, 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 it was a Jerry Curl and all, <laughs> <laughs> and he was on. Uh, he was on downtown Julie Brown's uh, club, club oh, MTV. Shit. Yeah, oh, shit. twice. So. I, have to, I, have to, I don't go to church. I got to go to church this Sunday. Just repent my sins. For what, dude? For just get your fucking some... screaming HIV positive across the field of this that market. was years ago. I know. There's a lot of things. I still feel bad. A lot of things we said. The low income housing. That's fine. I'll let that. Yeah. Stay. <laughs> Listen, I was. I was. 25 before we I knew that we had trailer parks in, in my town. Dude, every town has a trailer park. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. Madison has a trailer park. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, they do. Well, I think. You think? I've never seen it. But. I, that, no, maybe, <laughs> I think it's by the seafood place. Uh, Which one? Chips. Because there's like chips in Guilford. There's and no chips. chips in Madison. Oh, there's no chips in Madison? Nah, it's, that's in Clinton. On Route 1? Yeah, they're both. They're like, yeah. Okay. So there's like downtown Madison and then when you head towards Guilford, you pass the golf course, and then you're in Guilford. You head the other way. You hit Ham and Asset, and then right. you hit some restaurants up there, and then you're in Clinton. And right. then that's where the other chips is. Right. I don't know. Yeah. It's been a while. My yeah. hometown, baby. You don't like it. All right. So I got a bone to – not a bone to pick, but – Uh-oh. No, nah, just – this is I, – I, I need clarification. Okay. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Not current Dallas Cowboys. We'll get to that in a second. Old ones? No, no, no. I mean, not like what's going on currently. Okay. Um, how about since we've been friends on Facebook? That long. Oh, that's... that's Jesus Okay, Christ. so so I'm going to just group you into <laughs> three people. <laughs> you, George Connolly, and Andy Sharp. No. Okay. Just for Facebook purposes. Okay, Facebook purposes. You three, Mm -hmm. I think, epitomize a typical Dallas Cowboy fan on on social media. Uh, You're insufferable. You, every win is like, you like bring out, you like literally go on your computer and bring out every meme you could find (laughs) for whatever opponent you just beat. You know, like like you like fucking pissing on an eagle or fucking having a fucking giant blow you, whatever you find. Yep. And you know, then you lose and you're like, oh, tough loss, and then you're silent. Or or you know, Dak sucks, and then you're silent. You know, and then you win a game, and then you know, you guys have won twelve games. What the last three years? Like, three years. You, 12 right, and right five. Tw- twelve and five each year. You know, sucks. and yeah. So. And it's like, dude, it's like, one, you haven't won a Super Bowl since 95, so we're pushing 30 years. 96. No. Well, if my cousin would have caught the ball. It was a 95 season. Right. If my cousin would have caught the ball, we would have been in the Super Bowl. What year? 96. Wait, no. So I'm saying the last time you won was 95. Right, but who's your cousin? Chris Brazell, war number 87. Oh. Really? Yeah. yeah. And his son plays now for Tennessee. He uh, went from the Titans or the Vols? No, no, Vols. Vols, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he switched from. He just transferred? Uh, yeah, from. What position? Wide receiver. Oh, nice. We're number 17. 17 this year? Yeah, so Tennessee's not, my team. So, not, yeah, uh, James Perella. Yeah. I got a, yeah, I got a Jack Wagon. Yeah. I got a, I got a, now I'm like, oh, I got a, I got a, I got a, I gotta like them yeah. rather than being an Ohio State guy. Yeah, yeah. now I gotta like. Them. Oh, he played for Ohio State and transferred. No, me. oh, you're Ohio State in general. Yeah, okay. Oh, you, uh, yeah, you guys are just fucking reeling in the championships lately. It, yeah, slow it down. I don't see Tennessee anywhere. But back to Dallas. We won in '99. Let's start. There. Let, let's start. <laughs> T Martin, Martin, baby. 2015. T is, Martin. Ezekiel Elliott. Peyton Manning won shit, and T Martin comes in and wins the next year. Zeke Elliott, 2015. Back to you. <laughs> And now Zeke Elliott back to us. Is that official? I it's probably know. it's probably gonna happen. But we'll, again, we'll get to the, okay. the current state of the Dallas right, okay. Cowboys. So yes, us three, us three amigos are horrible. Yes, but I also had to explain to you 
that I put it out there, but I don't attack anybody. I do my rebuttals. No, I know. So I so so my stance on all of this and mm-hmm. okay, so in the twenty since two thousand seven I've been on Facebook, right? And we've been friends ever since. No no no. no. I, I don't I, like I went thirteen years of the Patriots, minus the seven that I wasn't on Facebook. Right. And I never really talk shit. I know. I, I, I probably you know, you can go back and dig and find no. probably twenty mess twenty posts in you know, the last 20 years or whatever it's been, 16 years of me writing something towards somebody. Right. That's it. You know, um, I don't even comment on stuff. Sometimes I'll comment on your stuff because I love you. Right. But like, uh, uh, you know, I just, I just laugh. I never comment on Andy stuff. Connolly is just like Connolly. Connolly's like Connolly. an old other world. I love he's, that dude. He's, he's just like, you can't, it's like, he's so witty and smart that even if like you disagree with him and comment on it he's gonna come back at you and just yeah. like oh shit how, how? like you almost have to like go up the next level yeah. to comment back and then like it's to the level where you're like oh fuck man I may have I don't want to insult anybody right I don't want to I don't want to not be friends and then here we go like, that's how smart he is right. so, like he'll make it that so we're like alright we're still friends but if you go above that next level yeah. you know so so I never go above that next level you're right and that's what's so good about George just like alright I'm gonna keep it right here but it's that Notre Dame education. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, like, you guys are just, like, crazy. And it's like... And then, like, you guys go one and out in the playoffs every year. And it's just like... Oh. Till next year. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's just like... Because you know why? Have, try something different. I was there. Be a little humble. That's why I was hurt. Be a little humble. I am humble. I'm so humble. Yeah, no, I know you're a humble guy. But when it comes to the Cowboys, it's different. Oh, I was humble. We went out to Santa Clara, aka San. Never go there. Just to let you know, it's Santa nice. Clara? I don't. Oh, it's yeah. nice, but not not so nice. Right. San Francisco is awful. But we went out there. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna San Francisco. We're gonna pay back. Blah blah blah. We're three people. Yeah yeah yeah. We're going. We're gonna do this. I got my Dallas stuff. I'm talking to people in leather pants. It's 95 degrees out. Why you got leather pants on? You got suck. <laughs> All of a sudden, ass whooping commences. <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. This is, this is so bad. Three fat guys out there. You're right. But the only thing that saved us was as soon as it turned 63 degrees, people were freezing out there. Oh, they, yeah. They have, no, they have no fucking. Yeah, and they started to leave. Yeah. So I was like, I was happy. And then there was one. Going to a game is so much different than talking shit online. Right. I mean, I don't know. Like, I. It was a good time. Yeah, I, I've been to away games with Patriots plenty of times mm-hmm. um, during the era. Like, I've only been to a couple games since COVID, you know, and Brady was still on the Patriots. Right. COVID. Actually, no, he wasn't. Sorry, that's when he left because that yeah. was Cam Newton's year, uh, 2020. I always think 2019 in my head with COVID, but it really was 2020. Right. Um, but, like, I, you know, you know, Mr. Mack, you know, he's mm-hmm. a big Steeler fan. He's like, he goes up to fucking... Steeler Patriots games back during the heyday of the Patriots. And right. he's like, Oh, you fucking fans are the worst in the world. I'm like, dude, what? I'm like, Matt, you come with a megaphone, <laughs> you know, <laughs> face paint, <laughs> you know, like leggings. <laughs> like you just like, Jesus Christ, dude, what do you expect? Oh my god. No, I don't, no, I don't. I was just in line to get a cheeseburger at McDonald's and this guy's like fucking chirping at me, and I'm like, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got I've been to literally a hundred Patriots games and I've never really seen anything escalate outside of a drunken. Like, no, we just, never, we never had a problem. We went to the two Dallas games when we came back against you guys. Yeah. At the end. Oh, the overtime one. Yeah. Again, Max Jones first year. Yeah. Ugh. Can't that game killed me. And, and, and it was sad because um, I don't want to dip. You asked me how I was. Right. Um, I have each. I have HS, which is an autoimmune disease. Yeah. So here I am. My whole thing is because I don't do anything else. I'm what is that? What is that? What is that? Uh, it's explaining. hydro, hydro something. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, it has to do with my hair follicles and um, sweat glands. So Your lack of hair follicles. With yeah. Me? Yeah. Well, I've always been follicle. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it makes me. I'm the average person has thirty five percent inflammation 
I have 155. So I have to take Humera shots every two weeks. Oh, Humera, yeah. Yeah, man. So, sure. like, before they diagnosed me with that, like, I was, like, literally. Does it run you down? Oh, my God. Like, yeah. Angelo would tell you. Right. Like, I was a zombie. Right. So my thing was, like, I didn't know if I was going to be around or not. So football games were like, hey, well, let me get let me get this in. Yeah, let me, right, th right. Those are my havens. Let me have this little time. Right. So I had family members go with me to different games, and then friends that you know you'll find out that when you get sick right. or anything like that, friends kind of disappear. Yeah, who your but, friends are? Yeah, you'll right. figure it out. Yeah. And I feel bad because Matthew's going through the same thing. Um, optimizer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's oh, got. He, yeah, he's got. He's he, been in and out of. He can't find the right diagnosis. I think is his problem. Well, he's he's got the poo bag. Yeah, oh, and he, he's he now? yeah. Jesus. So such a good kid. Yeah, man. he's a great kid. Yeah. So I'm like I'm run down. So I don't know. Like literally, sometimes I had to be in a wheelchair because I didn't know. Like I couldn't walk from that far from the stadium. Right. So I was like, I bought eight tickets because I was like. We're going to New England, and then we're going to Dallas because a lot of people haven't been to Dallas. So I was just like, okay, no, it was Dallas and then New England. I think it was the Jets first and then New England. Jets out in Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, that's three years ago. I can't remember. Right. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. So I was like, guys I grew up with, I'm like, hey, listen, hey, we let's go to the game. Your sons, let's go to the game, blah, blah, blah. You guys are Patriots fans. Got your jerseys, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I don't know if I got the money for it, blah, blah, blah. You grew up with me. Right. Why do you care? Right. If I'm asking you to go somewhere, go somewhere. That's that's the whole thing. Right. And I, you're the same way. Right. Like, if I'm asking you to do something, that means it's on me. Right. Just like Campy. Right. Even though he's frugal. Yeah. He, it's like, if it's on me, if I ask you to do something, it's on me. So I had to go with a whole different group of friends, and I was upset. And I don't blame you. And my cousin's like, well, dude, did you have a good time? I was like, yeah, it was spectacular. He goes, well, th that's all that fucking matters. I was like, yeah, you're fucking kind of right. Yeah. And then after that, I was just like, delete, delete, delete. Right, right. Like, there's a lot of people you sit there and go, you know what? You don't have to check on me. But at least when I call you, at least say something. Everybody's busy. We get that. At our age, you figure out everybody's busy kids whatever you career whatever like uh, you know what hey if i'm reaching out to you hey like i like me i reached out to you right i'm right. like ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, i love that guy blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you, should, you should talk to me yeah it, but it's like it shows that i miss you right and it's like I just want to be around. Dude, you. I tell Campy all the time. You send me all these like golf memes on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, of all people, Eddie sends me. I love him. I like. I'm, I'm always watching him. I'm like, yeah, that's me or whatever. Like, I'm like, yeah. So when I, I actually told Camp the other day, I'm like, I'm like, joking around. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna get fired for this, but I got a former employee of Stonebridge coming on my, you know, podcast. You know, just joking around. He's like, who? Yeah. I'm like, Eddie. He goes, oh, yeah, I, I text Eddie all, you know, every once in a while. We always talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, I, he checks up on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't really, I, 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 this is what I heard back in the day was you had like a heart issue. Oh, no. That's what, that's what got back to me. Mm. I could have been misinterpreting right. whatever it was. Right. I didn't know whatever you had is yeah. what you had. Um, until right now, to right. be honest with you. You could um, physically see it. Right, right, right. Uh, no, not really. I told you in the beginning, Deadpool without the... <laughs> Black Deadpool without the uh, superpowers. <laughs> oh, you got some superpowers. Oh, I got the, yes, you do. <laughs> but no, it's it's one of those you things... You can be like the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the guy with the dick that hangs down? The black man? Oh, he's dead. I know he's dead. I can't, no, I'm not that big. Oh, you're not. Well, neither was he. That was all photoshopped. Was it? That's what. I, that's what God I had. Damn yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, I think he was a he was a porn star though, wasn't he? Yeah. So I'm sure it was. He had a decent package. I mean, I, if I can get the upper body, I'd be awesome. I like my. I, he I wasn't skinny, that dude. He yeah, was, but I mean, yeah, I'm no longer. Yeah, in football shape. Well, yeah, I'm I'm moves and stuff. So how are you doing now? I'm doing all right. Like, yeah. there's there's sometimes uh, like when people are like, "Hey, why don't you come out? Come on, come come out." I'm like, ah, you know, 
I'm kind of tired, you know, yeah. this and that and that. And I'm like, I'm rushing to get here because I'm like, oh, no, I'm doing this. I don't give, I don't give a fuck. In the I'm fucking like, downpouring rain. Yeah, Noah's Ark's flying past yeah. me. Priuses are fucking spinning Dude, off. these little Honda Accords just zooming in. Because I was coming back from Guilford, just zooming in and out of traffic. I'm like, fuck. Well, you these know. fuckers. That used, to be, know. that used to be me back in the day. Uh, you know. It's it's. <laughs> I drive from Honduras. <laughs> That's how I drive. Yeah. But no, it's 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 I. A daily struggle. Right. I'm a, I am appreciative of the people that are around me and the yeah. people that I still talk to. Like, if it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't like. I'd probably be just sitting there playing solitaire or right, something right. like that because I don't play video games or anything like that. Now HS, I've never heard of it. Uh, is there a community out there? You oh yeah yeah. There's a, there's a whole thing. Good. Um, because the sad part is, and we were having this discussion about doctors. Yeah. Um, because my first doctor, hematologist. Uh, you know you figure you're a vampire doctor, all the blood and stuff. Right. Right. They got me with the uh, leukemia, because they didn't know. They're just guessing. Yeah. And then ruling out other shit. So I had a bone marrow oh, God. Uh, biopsy, which is not bad. No, it's not. It's not dude, they take not a, like a spinal tap. Yeah, it's like yeah. they take a Milwaukee drill, drill you in the ass. <laughs> in the ass? Pretty much in the yeah. in the because that's where you bone Yeah, and the dude's like, he goes, "Do you do drugs?" I go, "No, sir, I, I haven't done drugs in like since 1996." And he's like, uh, "He goes, this is fentanyl." I was like, oh, all right, cool. So wait, wait, what? What was fentanyl? The shot. Oh, what he gave you? Yeah. So he's like, how long ago was this? Uh, was this before fentanyl was a thing? No, like, fentanyl was like the like no, the, the I think was, word I, now. no, I think it was, it was the thing then. Still that okay. Yeah. So he was like, like on the streets thing. Yeah. yeah, he, yeah. he put out three needles, and he hit me with the first one, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, I can feel the drill. <laughs> so like, wait, wait. So that's why he asked you to do drugs. Yeah. Because if you mix fentanyl and you're a drug user, that could be a big right. Problem. That could be a got whole thing. Got you. Got you. So then he hit me with the second one. I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm starting to sweat, bro. <laughs> and he's like, okay, okay, I'll go inside now. And they take this Milwaukee drill with the with the little bit, and he's they drill me right in the butt. Yeah. And take it out, no problem. They're like, listen, you're gonna be a little woozy a little while. <laughs> And I don't know if you. Meanwhile, you have a hole in your ass. Right. Other than the hole in your <laughs> ass. <laughs> and like, I don't know if you've been to Yale uh, lately. I've been. I actually been down to the Children's Center. But the fifth, fifth floor or sixth oh, I've, floor I've been there. is all is all people from Laos. What does that mean? They're Asian people. Oh. So they're all Laos. So they're all speaking different languages while you're there, and then they try to give you a quiz, and I'm like, listen, baby, I'm here for me. I know what I'm here for. Right. She's like, you want sandwich? I'm like, not for forty five dollars. You want no. a sandwich? I want hot. You, I want hot. You want something else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Listen, listen. You want saki saki? I'm getting drilled. Somebody else got to get drilled. <laughs> right. Yeah, so that's the way it looked. That's the way it looks at. Like. So it was so funny that we were playing around, and she's like, my cousin's looking at me, going, "Are you serious?" I'm like, He's ready to go. He's good. Yeah. And she gives another lady. And I'm sitting there going, God damn. I'm like, how long y'all been in the United States? I'm like, this is good shit. So the second time was two years later. And they they thought I had uh, multi-myeloma. So basically, blood disorders, blood blood, blood cancers. Cancer. Yeah. That are incurable. So now you start freaking out. Now your now your anxiety. This is what fucking happens to me. Right. Just the smallest shit. I couldn't imagine having someone tell me that. Oh, bro, I lay in the bed the whole fucking time. Yeah. I I didn't know what to do. I went out to Wyoming for two months. Stayed out there. I do. I was ready to old yeller. Like literally, I was gonna prop myself up in the tree. Yep. I had had both my guns. I'm like, hey, if I'm going, I'm. Going on my terms. Yeah, like if the mountain lion gets me and I run out of bullets, then right. I'm going to feel something. Right. So, um, turns out, turns out, I come back. Dermatologist specialist comes out. French guy. Time out. Okay, can you real quick? Yeah. So, so when you go out to Wyoming, 
and they they didn't really necessarily diagnose you with this yet, right? No. It was just a possibility. Right. But they'd give you possibility of uh, how much time you would have left if no, you did have this? No, because they, like you, that's a, that's the scary thing. Because you look and you don't know how long you had it, and you're looking at, oh, yeah, if you're at stage two, you got five years and right. two years. So now I'm freaking out. So I went out there, cleared my head, right. sat up with the. I actually sat up against a tree. Yeah. And I'm just like, whew. I'm like, these motherfuckers are really building a golf course on the other side of my mountain. Right. <laughs> Sheridan. Yeah, Sheridan yeah, golf course. I got you, yeah. So I'm like, I'm sitting there going, son of a bitch. I'm like, well, let me go back. And then I got a call. I'm like, oh, a specialist, a dermatologist wants to talk to you. And he goes, oh, I, I do this kind of thing. He goes, oh, you got HS. I go, what the? Just like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. What the, fuck, like, is what the fuck is HS? I heard of MS, he not goes, HS. It's an autoimmune disease, blah, blah, blah. It deals with the um, sweat glands and your hair follicles. I go, well, what about the stiffness? He goes, don't worry about that. Bro, he gave me, legitimately gave me a shot of Humira. Two days later, I'm fucking walking around. Really? I said, holy shit. You can even ask Angelo. Yeah. Angelo's like, dude, I thought you were going to die. Really? I was like, yeah. Because, bro, me and him went out a couple times and seen some people. I ain't going to say what they are. And he's like, I was like, dude, if we can go out, I'm going to take my little Thor hammer and I'm going to just fucking Thor people. <laughs> and he's like, because you think you're going to die. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to die anyway. I got some takeout people on my list. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, how are you going to be a biker driving a Discovery Challenger? <laughs> a Discovery, um, yeah, the, the little, uh, yeah, the little yeah, yeah. Discovery. Yeah. And I'm like, how are you going to be a biker doing that? Nah, I'm going to take you out with my fucking Thor hammer. <laughs> and Watch shit online. Yeah. So Angel's like, are you shitting me? I go, fuck this dude. <laughs> right. And he was like, well, we'll, we'll just leave. Like not a problem. So I go home, and then now I'm feeling better. Right. And then oh, this is after you took the new mirror, yeah. but it hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah. Right. So it was it was hysterical. Yeah. And he's like, uh, me and him and Lou went out for football or whatever. This is when I first started it. Yeah. And then after that, it was just like, okay, every two weeks, not a problem. Shoot myself in the gut. Blah blah blah. So you do it on your own now. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm good. You could tell when it starts to wear off, though. I was going to say, like, so do you think every two weeks is going to be good or, like, eventually it's going to be every week or? Oh, no, it's going to be every two weeks because I have a friend up at Fort Drum and his wife is on it and she's been on it for, like, 13 years so far. Yeah. So it's like, he's like, oh, I want to put you on something else where it's going to be. I'm like, first of all, test trials. Right. Let's get that out of the way first. And, and oh, it's good in Europe. That's Europe. That's not here. Let's get that straight. I go, once you get somebody my body type, my size, and all that kind of shit, then we'll go from there. Right. And he's like, all right, all right. He goes, I'll read up on it and stuff like that. I was like, well, you read up on it. That's <laughs> what we fucking pay you for. Yeah, it. Right. bro. And my hematologist called me. He goes, hey, you got an appointment? I go, what the fuck am I talking to you for? Yeah, Don, see ya. I go, I'm going, I'm going which I don't like. And that's why I thought you were going to the Guilford place. Where it's the um, Kettering oh, cancer. Oh, yeah, yeah, cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And I hate going there. Yeah. Well, I hate. Who wants to go to a cancer place? Right. Exactly. I don't know. Right. And I'm just like, nah, dude. You you did you did nothing for me. Right. You're just drawing blood just to draw blood. And you haven't diagnosed anything. That's, that's, I think that's the biggest problem with medicine now is, like, kind of a simpler way to put it like when I was younger when I was like 27 is when I first started having my stomach problems and I went around to three different specialists and no one could really pinpoint what it was and maybe the, the science or the medicine for that particular thing wasn't there yet and then I just finally went to the hospital mm -hmm. and I went to Milford Hospital and I remember this, I don't know if she's still there. Her last name is uh, We Met, like O-U-I-M-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I just remember the name because I went to high school with a kid with the same last name. Mm -hmm. And she comes in and she's like, what's going on? I tell her, I'm like, you know, I just it's just like, you know, everything in my stomach is coming up. And I, I, I've tried everything, like Tums and blah, blah, blah. 
She's like, you have acid reflux. And think of how simple that is. Right. You have HS. I just had acid reflux. And she's like, you have acid reflux. And I'm like, okay. And but but in 2003 or four or whatever this was, I didn't know what it was. Mm. And she's like, oh, here, take this purple pill, Nexium. Mm. I'm like, okay. Two days later, I'm like, holy shit. So I so I call the hospital. I get her line and I leave her a message like oh my god I think you figured it out and she called me back and I didn't have insurance at the time right and the shit's like back then yeah. they it wasn't over the counter it was fucking $275 yeah. a month and I said I don't have insurance she goes well there's generic versions but I tell you what go to the gastro clinic in Milford and they'll give you samples and she hooked me up with some lady there and the lady would literally come to Stonebridge mm. with a bag of like a 60 day supply for like a year sweet yeah it was awesome you know and I don't know what's going on with me now I gotta go on this other test but this, this is fucking 20 test. fucking <laughs> four, five years ago you know I just all the alcohol and pizza I've consumed over the years has just ruined my stomach and but you did really, have some good food though I have no regrets on all the food and drinks I've had in my life no I'll put it to you that way right I mean I've had some bad food but not by choice. But right. oh, I thought you guys were good. You guys fucking sucked. Yeah, you know, <laughs> black and swordfish. Like yes, I tell you what. So you're in Wyoming. I know you were there for different reasons. But like that's a travel, and you travel, and I travel, and I I've said this a gazillion times in this podcast. There is no better food in this country than in the region we're in. The oh Northeast. yeah, absolutely. You could find a fine a French restaurant in California, an awesome steakhouse in Florida, somewhere out in the Midwest, Texas, I've been to a great steakhouse, mm-hmm. but per capita, yeah. the food from, let's say, D.C. up to fucking Maine, yeah. and everything in between, you cannot find better food in the country. There's supposed to be a, an amazing steak place in Hartford. I'm sure there is. I just don't. I don't know. I don't go up there. I don't go up there. Yeah, I don't know. there's no need. But there's Texas, no need. I don't know. The steak is pretty damn good. No, no, no. Like, they, but that's what right. they're famous for. Right. But you can find a great steakhouse here. You can find a great French restaurant in New Haven. You can find like, there's just shit everywhere. Right. And and I bring it to the lower level where you just go to a bar. Right. If you go to a bar in Milford, you go to my bar in Milford, right? Mm. Wings are great. Burgers are great. Food is nachos amazing. great. Right. Got, got right? me fucking fat. Right. Awesome. You go to a my bar in North Dakota. Oh, you're getting frozen food. Yeah. Out of, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just like it's our bar. Food. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Easter. That is the first time the R bar that was in Milford when I worked there. <laughs> the only food we had was a standalone fryer later, and you pop the the fucking. <laughs> yep, everything. You pop the fucking fried moose in the top and go through this thing and just pop out the bottom. Yep. Cooked. Onion rings, everything. <laughs> everything came through that bag. Oh my god, oh so disgusting. God. I forgot our R bar days. Yeah. Martin Vigione, I love you, baby. Yeah. I'm sitting there. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, there's no there's no sauce. Have some honey mustard. <laughs> Uh, we serve honey mustard for everything here. <laughs> Fries, chicken fingers, fried moots, whatever. Oh, whatever, whatever comes through the fried raviolis, whatever can drop through this machine. Oh, my God. I've never seen it. I've never seen I never saw it before that day, yeah. and I've never seen it after that machine. Yeah. Ever. Ever. No. I've never seen that either. Like, how do you clean it? No, I don't. Where do you put the oil in it? Like, I, I just... I don't think it ever got clean. No, I mean, you'd be better off air frying shit now like, oh, yeah. than using that machine back then. But i tell you one thing. Late night... Oh, we fucking loaded that shit up. <laughs> Put everything in there. Where's all my shit? First of all, late night at our bar, we were talking for like sun was coming up. Yeah, after the parking lot. Oh my clear. god, dude! I met some of the best people that came. I worked there for six months, just Friday nights, and I had a blast. Yeah, I, I had think, so much fun. I think when Ralphie, Ra- Ralphie and I worked Friday nights. Yeah, yeah, and then he's like. Hey, why don't you come over here to Stonebridge? That's because remember that's who brought me to Stonebridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, and that's then, when I first met you at our bar. Yeah, right? and that then, was two thousand four. Yep, and yeah. then a month later he was gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, hey. he came back though. Oh and no, we didn't. No, no we didn't. didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. He yeah. left twice. Yeah. And then right I was here. like, God damn, what does that leave me? Yeah. I'm in a pickle here. Yeah. And they were like, 
you stay here. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. okay, all right. Oh man. But no, it, it was um, it was interesting. No, that was our our bar, bar was yeah. It's now a progressive uh, insurance lot. Well, because it was so haunted. It, yeah, it was, it's got to yeah. be something. Yeah, got to be yeah. something. All right, let's run down a few fast little tidbits before we wrap this show up. Okay. Uh, aliens, believe them or no? Absolutely. We can't I be love the, you for that. Can't be the uh, only thing. Yeah. Uh, there were some sightings in California last night. Uh, fireballs, three of them streaking across the sky for an extended period of time. Mm. There were some thoughts that it was, uh, I think Elon Musk uh, launched some. His no, he, he, you know, he did some of his uh, space link things. Right. China launched some shit, and they balloons said, oh, again. No, not balloons. This is they launched some space station astronauts mm. like three weeks ago. They're saying it's debris. That's what they're saying. They're calling on like all the experts and all oh, this what it is now. Uh, I saw the video. It's 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 abnormal. I'll just say it's abnormal. Right. This is not the most. This is this video is not the most like like oh my god video. It's like yeah you kind of seen this one before, mm. um, but it just it always when I see something it's it seems to happen at least once or twice a month. Uh, I think they're already here. Oh, they've been here. Yeah, I think they've been here before we've been here. Because uh, <laughs> if you look at time in a capsule, mm-hmm. uh, we're, we 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 I've only we've been on this planet for fifty years, right? We're talking about a, a, a billion year old or four billion year old universe. Uh, if you are not a flat earther, which I'll get to in a second, oh, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like 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 just think in a time capsule, like you know, we just started making movies, you know, a hundred years ago or eighty years ago. Mm. We just started like really diving into this, and you know, we were in the industrial age in the eighteen late eighteen hundreds, and and all this crazy shit, and like we're talking about gaps of time, right? Like hundreds of thousands or millions of years, and. These people probably saw our planet as inhabitable a long time ago and planted their seeds here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you remember our art imitates life. So oh all, my god, I say that all the time. And all that crap that we see. Yeah, they know it. They already know it. Except for hyperspeed and all that other jazz. We've gone on the plaid. <laughs> but <laughs> plenty dingo. But the way you got to look at it, and you, it's like two things: mercury found liquid liquefied Egypt Machu Picchu liquefied right but it's an element how how when it's there right and then it's not used for tombs or anything like that and the other thing is how did the language if we all started with one language how do we all split from the different languages well that was the pan pan what is it called the uh, what Pangea, was Pangea, and then it split, right? Yeah, but that's that's. Well, that's why the fuck are you black and I'm on white? Because Michael Jackson said so. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, he did say that. <laughs> <laughs> but it, there's a lot of things that that are unexplained, like the sundial and all that stuff. The pyramids are nuts. Right. How the and, fuck did they build those? There's no... The ingenuity... You know, you know how hard it'd be to build a pyramid now? Right. The ingenuity with, is not there. No. You'd need lulls and all kinds of stuff. And they just put in like, your history books like like 20 Egyptians and, and camels and horses like with straps pulling these big rocks. Yeah. Like, no fucking way. Sleep. How do you even get the second rock on top of the first... If you can even drag the first rock right. into place... How do you get the one on top of it and then on top of that? Let's not call it a rock. It's a builder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, there's there's a lot of things. Like but, you but, you know, we were just taught history to be taught history, you know? So it's like, you know. And if you talk to Navy or Air Force personnel, they'll tell you that there's a lot of things. Oh, that these guys know everything. Yeah, and they can't say anything. Right. Because, like, remember, why are we in Antarctica? There's nothing but scientists out there living out there. Well, that so that brings me to flat Earth. Oh, Good yeah. transition. Ooh, sweet. So, so oh, Antarctica. I feel like Robin from fucking Howard Stern. Yeah. Show. So, so <laughs> actually, I I, I, I kind of stopped deep diving into flat Earth because I just can't find, for my mentality, mm-hmm. the reason why people are so, like, like what what's the f- final destination of it? Like, what's what's the conspiracy behind right. it? Why? 
and they just like to keep pushing the narrative that the Earth is flat, but not like really tell you like this is why they're telling you it's round. Like you know, I haven't heard that part of it yet. Right. It's just that it's flat. Okay, great. You think that. Right. But why are they tell? Why are they telling us otherwise? Why do they want that narrative to keep going on and on? And I'm still open ears. Because you can go from Earth. Er- but Antarctica is the Great White Walls. The right. Art imitating life is the show. Uh, uh, the HBO one uh, with the White Walkers. The fuck is that? The oh, you don't watch TV. The. Uh, Jesus Christ! What's the show? What is no, no, the show on HBO about like the 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 middle time. Middle Earth. Yeah, yeah, but HBO oh, show. oh, the dragon. Yeah, the dragon the, one. Uh, the Game of Game Thrones. of Thrones. So they have this whole. That's another thing. show I gotta watch. Yeah. Oh, I see. I haven't watched it. So there's this whole thing, and so they so these flat earthers like to relate because there's these old ancient maps, and it, mm-hmm. if you look at them, it's like the center is Antarctica, and there's these walls around it mm-hmm. of the flat Earth. Mm-hmm. So centers and there's walls, and beyond the walls are a whole other dimension, realm, or realm, or whatever, and uh, whatever. And it's just like, all right, I just tell me why they're lying to us about that. Like they lie to us about a lot of shit. Yeah. Oh. But but why that? Like why are they telling us the Earth is round? If there's, I don't know. Like you know what I mean? Like like you so many conspiracy theories. I, I I like research. Like like. There's always like this is why they're doing it. Yeah. And flat Earth and a and a globe. There's like the flat Earth. There's just haven't come to me yet. Not that, that we're on an I thought they're coming to me, but I follow them on certain sites. Like right. like like what why what, what's an their axis. end game on this? We're on an axis. Right. And Tony Atlas is holding it up, spinning it right around right. the globe. And I've seen like so many things to disprove it. Like I've been on an airplane at thirty five thousand feet, and right. I think I've seen like kind of a curvature. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. But I haven't really thought about it. The only way we gotta, we're gotta we going to know is take our Battlestar Galactica books, bringing it back to old age. <laughs> if we can do some Star Trek shit, get a ship, go out there. Oh, we got to build a ship, Eddie. We got to build a ship and get it, as, or a hot air balloon, and get as high as we can. But uh, even so, you're still going to, you're only going to see that much. And the cameras only show that much. Right. That's why they don't show the back of the moon. Because technically, some, somebody said that there's lights on the back of the moon and there's life. The oh, moon. oh, dude, it's... it's oh, oh, believe me. It's crazy. It's a whole other It's a whole show. city. It's a whole but other we show. we haven't done anything. It's... Well, it's Groupon. You know Groupon? Hmm. So, yeah, this is the worst part. And I, I meant to address this earlier. April Fool's Day... Mm-hmm. It's the, literally the worst day to do anything on the internet. Right. Because everyone's reporting false stories, trying to get clicks, right. trying to be funny. And I actually went on Groupon looking for something, and the first thing that came up was $1.9 million slashed off, $99,000, <laughs> trip to the moon, hotel, the whole thing on the moon. I'm just reading it. I'm like... I actually wasted my time on the stupid fucking... I, I didn't read the whole thing, but I'm like, I knew it was fake right away. Right. But I'm like, really? Like, Groupon's doing this now? Like, come on. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta, get, gotta get clicks, baby. <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you one thing. There's, there's a lot of things that I don't want to see. Like, there's hotels that are under the sea. Yeah. That you could stay in, and then they ship you to a pod and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I'm all set. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm all set. After watching The Meg... And all that other shit. Yeah. How about fucking, uh, remember the old one, uh, The Abyss? Yeah, Ooh. I'm all set. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good with underwater life. If one we- thing I do know about science is water is pressure. Right. And the lower you go, the higher the pressure. Right. It's like it's like flying. Like, the higher you go, like, your ears pop. Science. Science. I believe in some science, not all science. Not science. But that's why, you know, we can't get past the atmosphere. All right, one last thing before I get to my final little rant. Not rant, but my final little thing of the day. Giddy up. All right, election year. Uh, it's it's Trump-Biden. Trump, obviously, and Biden. But I think the kind of primaries were last night, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they both won. I mean, there's, yeah. there's no really no one else to vote for at this point. It's early voting today. Yeah. Yesterday. Uh, some crazy shit uh, is coming out. I don't know, you know, obviously, you're black, I'm white. There's, there's obviously that t- 
tension in America. Ooh. There has been forever. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate you because of your color. My god, you lost the war, dude. Oh <laughs> shit. What war? <laughs> um, You're wearing gray and I'm wearing blue. What do you think? <laughs> the biggest war against America right now is the border. Word. And we're losing that war. And ben. this is crazy. So, like, since 2024 turned the calendar, in the states of Arizona, Texas, and Pennsylvania, They've allowed voters without IDs mm. for almost two million people, and to get the Democratic those vote, are the, right? To get the Democratic vote, mm-hmm. and this is why Biden is not enforcing any border laws until after the election. Should he win, then he'll yeah. probably shut it right down because he's not going to win again. It, you know, he can't win it; he's done. Damn. He'll get four more years. And and Kamala Harris th- this is this so this just brings me to the fight that everyone had about the this voter ID thing in like Georgia and whatever. It's like it just it just it just reading this article and, and then I actually researched it and it's it's pretty true. Like Texas has like one point three million people that have Over- pre registered without ID to vote right. uh, in the in the national election. Well, in and, Illinois, it's your right to get a gun as an immigrant, right. as a migrant. Oh my god! So yeah, like, so was it really about racial shit, or was it more about? Listen, we we just we just want to pass these laws so like immigrants can vote. That's it. Because they're gonna hand they're gonna hand immigrants a card that says, "Okay, if you vote for Biden, we're gonna let you stay." Right, and then after that, once they do that. The keys to the car are going to be repoed. Right. And they're going to be sent home. Right. Because the logical way of looking at it is you're going to say, oh, it takes five years to get your citizenship. They're not doing that. No. None of them are doing that. They're going to become career criminals or hide out. Right. Because just remember, Obama deported the most people. So at some point, somebody's going to just sit there and go, right. Okay, we got the votes. Let's get him out. My brother, my brother lives in Greenfield, Massachusetts. So, oh, I got to get so much snow tomorrow. Uh, right. So <laughs> obviously, my, my brother died. Oh, my mm. brother died. My father died. Sorry, Freudian slip. Uh, my father died, and I had to go up there for a couple of days in January, and uh, you know, go through his belongings and stuff. So, I was going to look for a hotel room, and mm. there was a Hampton Inn in Greenfield. Mm. How much could a Hampton Inn be in Greenfield, Mass? Right. Well, it was like three hundred and fifty nine dollars a night. On oh Tuesday and Wednesday night. God. So luckily, I have a friend that had a hookup that got me at a different hotel, a little Red farther. Roof? No, no, <laughs> that is fucking uh, Marriott Spring Hill or something. Thought the dog would and stay like, at the roof, and like Hadley. Mm. And I stay there, and I get to my brother's house, and I'm like, you know, what the fuck's up with Hampton Inn? He goes, Oh, it's a fucking sanctuary fucking hotel. Yeah. They they put buses there. He's like, they have like three rooms available every night. That's why they're charging so much. Right. But you don't want to stay there. No. The cops are there every night. It's, it's a fucking, it's just run over by fucking illegals. Because they took them from the airport. Right. And brought them over. Yeah. They bust them up. Mm-hmm. They bust them up there. Well, and no, 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 no. Those are the ones actually from Bo- the Boston airport. The ones that were sitting yeah, in there. Yeah, they had to bust them to Greenfield. Yeah, they bust them over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was just like, holy smokes. Right. Because uh, they took, uh, what's the... There's a brewery up there. Big oh, it's tree, a tree, tree house. Tree, tree That's house. in South Deerfield, yeah. yeah. Where my dad lived, yeah. Which is a spooky little town, just to let you know. South Deerfield grew up there. Well, I didn't grow up there. My brother grew up there. I, I mean, um, they yeah. have Yankee Candle, too. Yeah. yeah. And they also have the Deerfield Academy. Yes. Which is the replica of the town, which is scary as shit. And I think because I'm black... Because there's no fucking blacks up there after fucking... There are no... I can confirm there There are no blacks up there. After Chicopee, dude. After Chicopee, there are no black people. Northampton, any of that stuff. Well, Northampton's lesbians. Unless they go to school in Smith College. And now Greenfield has been run over by lesbians. I I don't care. I'm just just telling you what's happening. Hey, listen. Uh, South... Yeah, there's not many black people up there. And then you get in Vermont, there's like, you know... Zero. 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 And well, they don't like the cold. You guys don't like the cold. I love the cold, but the yeah. migrants don't like the cold either. But they're up there. At the yeah, McDonald's. because they're free. They're free. The they're free from the tyranny of Mexico. Are, aren't they? Aren't they building the condos in New Hampshire? I don't know. <laughs> yes, they are. Better look that up. I'm gonna. <laughs> they're building. 
New but, but all right, so all right, to, 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 to my point, no, we're still okay. on topic. To my point is, all I feel is the Democrats are putting all their eggs in this one basket mm. to make sure Trump doesn't win. And what did the world explode when Trump was president for four years? No, it almost didn't. No, it didn't. COVID. No. Well, that was who was that devised by? Plan. 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 Pandemic. Pandemic. Right? Okay. But what I, my point is, like, even if he wins, it's just four years. You guys are going to have four years of your media conglomerates making so much money because all you're going to do is talk about them right. and berate them and all this other shit and plan something else against them and try to impeach them again for more clicks and do all this other shit. And if he does lose... Mm. Okay, he's, no, not no, running, he's not running in four years. He's way too old. He might even not survive that he time. He won't survive that. He, right, right. Probably neither will Biden neither. in his term. But now you've created this disaster just for one man mm-hmm. to not be president for four years. Mm. And here we are. But who? But who's going to deport all these people? But who's this vice president, though? Who, I don't care at this point. Yeah, but you got That's not my point. No. My point is you you create this disaster to eliminate one person for 4 years and if you succeed, right. You're still left with the disaster you created. But it all depends on And probably Trump's the only guy that can get you out of the disaster you created. But you got to see what's in the wake. If you let Orangina die, or you get rid of him. You have to see what he brings to the table. I know we know it's not going to be the Indian. Dude. I hope it. I well, but I, I, I wish it was. We don't know. Yeah, I, I wish it was that, Vivek. Uh, uh, I don't need no rapper in. He's them. young. He's young. Yeah, but he's a wanna be rapper. I don't need. <laughs> wanna be rapper. He was a rapper. In Trump rapped in the eighties. He wrapped up women. Yeah. Mrs. Hawaii. Yeah. Mrs. Switzerland. I got Trump vodka, baby. <laughs> I got to give me this cologne. <laughs> but no, I'm saying... You, Who are the dance have for us? Kamala? Who? Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. The, 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 what I'm saying is... We need some... If He's he's got to pick somebody good. Like, I always said... And I, and Butch, Butch Who's Rue, good? Who's good? Give me good. Give me good. Who do, who would you want him to pick? It's not going to be DeSantis. I know that. No, I know that Because he DeSantis. DeSantis ruined himself. himself. Right. But that's sanctimonious. The, the sanctimonious. Yeah. He ruined Florida. He ruined and he himself. And he can't get into Florida. But at the same time, you got to look at who he didn't, like, who's still there. Like, are you going to take a moderate or are you going to take a magna? You know, it, it's, you got to take a Republican, like... I was a Pence guy. Really? Yeah, motherfucker. Ohio, oh. motherfucker. Oh, God. Man, back it down. States. States. It's all about the states. And he was he was good, but you have to... If Orangina goes away, you have to figure out who the next person is. And who's gonna who's actually going to sit there and go, Hey, I got some policies. I'm yeah, gonna but Pence this. wasn't the next guy. Oh, Pence was the next guy. No, he wasn't. Oh, no, he wasn't. He's stronghold. No. Stronghold. Yeah, look how look how fucking good he did in the fucking Listen, this year. Let's not start that shit. All right. I know Pence is your Ohio State boy, but, but no. No, he, he got... He, he's... But look at the whole field, though. The whole field was horrible. I, I agree. I agree. As a Jersey kid, too. I agree. Look, but I think the one that rose out of that field was Vivek. Okay. And I, I know you think, like, you, you joke that he's a rapper. No, no. No, but I think, like, with that being said, I think he is so articulate when asked a question. Mm-hmm. And he does come across as, like... Arrogant? Uh, I wouldn't Har- say... Harvard Jack Wagon? I wouldn't say arrogant. I would say, like... I, th- I think he's arrogant with a passion. Like, right. like a compassion, I mean. Right. Like, I've seen a lot of the things on Twitter and YouTube like where people, like, at town halls, like, there was, like, a trans girl asking him a question. Mm-hmm. And, like, he kind of, like softly demeaned her at the same time rose her up in right. like all in one like nutshell and I thought it was perfect and I'm like and the girl literally like thanked him and sat down well, or the guy whatever well, you want to well, call it well the sad thing is we haven't seen a lot of debates we only seen debates and it's only and two Biden's months. not going to debate no no uh, it, they're, they're not but we haven't seen anything to even depict the actual formal opinion because we're just like Right. Okay, we had these Nikki Haley. Ooh. Right, yeah. That was so stupid. You know, I, 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 and they're all just yelling on did, stage. Did slavery happen? 
bitch, yeah, it's a yes or no question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but you ask a Democrat, what is the definition of a fucking woman? And they're like, uh, what do you mean? Uh. Like, <laughs> I, it's so it's like you don't know what's going to go on. I just need Orangina to pick somebody good. If Orangina picks somebody good, then I'm okay. Like, okay, because I know he's... Yeah, but again, who, who don't... It's not going to be your boy, so who? I know. I, exactly. That's... He doesn't even know. And that's the sad thing. I know. Because he's looking at the fucking kitty litter and he's like, Cause if it's I his, don't know. If it's... If it's, it's not his, this, this sanctimonious. If it's, <laughs> if it's his daughter-in-law, then we're going to have a fucking problem. Oh, no. No. <laughs> we're I, it, it, I mean, obviously, it's not Nikki Haley. I mean, there's 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 so many rumors out there. Right. Exactly. Um, but I think he decides soon, though. He has to. He has to. I mean, we're, it's fucking... It's almost... It's April. I mean, Christ. We're fucking six, less than six months away. Right. And somebody's got... So. He's... Whoever he picks... Male or female yeah. has to have talking points that are just going to sit there and go, "I'm going to roll the same tongue as he does," or and as his running mate, you know, I'm, they're not stupid. They understand. I don't have to wait eight years, right? I only have to wait four, the, or if that. Well, yeah, I mean, he's big in Max, much better shape. Unless big, he, big Max and Diet Coke's got that motherfucker, uh, or a little <laughs> sniper. Yeah. Listen, I thought that. Listen, I little, thought that the first four years too. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. dude, he's getting taken. I off. thought he was going to die <laughs> before St. Patty's Day. Right, right. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I even I had a bet out there. Yeah, like because Deadpool. Because <laughs> I'm a Jersey kid, also. So, and the one thing is, okay, fine, I'm a Republican, but at the same time. He took my alma mater and was supposed to build a golf course. And he never did. He built the one in the Bronx instead. And then all the whole Trump yeah. University. Is, Listen, I got beef, dude. It's a business, man, bro. It's not fucking business. It's business. But this shit looks they like gave a shady deal. He said, I'm out. Fucking looks like a ghost town now. He's going to buy Great River. And he's like, fuck you guys. You want too much. Listen, Great River is a fucking beautiful place. Oh, that was Sacred Heart Potter. Yeah. yeah. I love it's that. Fucking place. beautiful. <laughs> I'll take you out there one day. <laughs> They let black people out there? Uh, no, well, you have to caddy for me, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wear Just the bango. Just golf beams all day. Gotta wear the bango boots. Yeah, <laughs> look at you out there. Put a little fucking hat on. Nice. Fucking we'll, walk we'll, around. Uh, bagger van style. Yeah. <laughs> we'll even have some fucking divas out there, baby. Yes, sir. I like this. This it's is pretty good, good, right? It's fucking, it's it, sell. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. All right, last thing. All right. We'll wrap it up. The billionaire list was just announced on Forbes yesterday. And we're not on They it. did that. No. Uh, I ranked uh, 0.00001%. Oh, was solid for that, too. Yeah. Uh, number one, I think they ranked the top, like, 2,000. So it was 2,000 billionaires. I didn't read through them all. And they did the top 200 online. Uh, number one was... Uh, no, Bernard Arnault and family. Apparently, there's some fat. They own 75 fashion companies. Never heard of them. Never heard. Uh, 233 billion dollars net worth. Good lord. Uh, number two, not a surprise. Elon Musk just beat out Jeff Bezos by one billion dollars. But isn't his wife under? His ex-wife is underneath that. I don't know. No, Bezos already paid his ex-wife. Yeah, but she gives out billions like there's no. Oh, she's on the list, but yeah, she's, she's not. She's not high. He's one ninety four. God, she doesn't have that much. Imagine having that much money. Then our little douche boy, fag boy Zuckerberg. Oh, I said fag boy. Shit. Ooh, I may have to edit that out. Did I say that? Yeah, I'm gonna get canceled. That. Zuckerberg, I hate him. He's such a little weasel. He is a weasel. Yeah, you know. That's what happens when you're, you're in a dorm room all day uh, and you create seventy seven. He's at one seventy uh, six. Yeah, six is Buffett. Warren. Seven, yeah, Warren. Bacon and Pepsi. Seven every day. is. I can't even know what the fuck I wrote. Good job. Uh, twelve is Bloomberg. Mayor Bloomberg is twelve. Bloomberg has always got the money, dude. Oh, he's got some money. He's always got the cash. Thirty, Phil Knight, Nike. Uh, one hundred, Rupert Murdoch, Fox News Corp. I can't. Uh, and then the- we have some new guys to the list. So coming in the first year, she, I think she came in almost like. Close to the bot. Taylor Swift now is a billionaire. One point one billion dollars she's worth on that because of that tour she did. Never heard one fucking song. Yes, you have. Shake it off. There you go. See that? Boom. Oh, they're not. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me, I'm from Pennsylvania. Let me rape country music and go straight to pop. There's a guy up your alley. Our our age group. Uh, we grew up watching Magic Johnson. One point two billion dollars he's worth now. Oh, he has he, a he has a, he owns like movie owner, theaters yeah. and all sorts of shit. Now he's an owner of the Dodgers right. and 
Yeah, big time. Good damn. And this one is uh, a new to the list. Big net value of nine point one billion. His name is Todd Graves. Now you probably don't know who that is. Todd Graves. No, never heard of him, right? No, I never heard of him. He is the owner of a franchise that is coming to Milford called Raising Canes. Oh, the chicken place. The fried chicken. Fried, fried, fried up your rally, baby. Black people, fried, chicken. black people chicken. Fried chicken. Raising Canes is moving into uh, where the uh, the uh, it's on the post road. The, maybe where the docks was. Okay. Over by Taco Bell. Okay. It's it's somewhere. Uh, don't quote me on that. It's somewhere right. over in that area. Raising Canes is moving in there. Oh. More like southern, southeast, southern. Let's see if it lasts longer than Krispy Kreme. Well, chicken <laughs> always lasts longer than donuts. Mm. You can't compete against Duncan. No, you can't. The problem is you need the good coffee. If you don't have good coffee, you're not going to win the donut war. Yeah, I guess you're not. You're not going to do you're it. You're going to go fucking get some fucking Duncan or you're going to get some Stabbies. <laughs> but Star- Starbucks is like, this is the thing about Starbucks. Oh, God, I hate that fucking place. They have a couple coffees I like. I won't say. But their food is garbage. Their food, like, look, look, the food sits in a display, and you say, "Oh, I want that," and they yeah. stick in a microwave and they hand it to you. Right. Not that Duncan is fucking gourmet, <laughs> but at least you get donuts, a bag, a fresh bagel. Like is this said. a real fucking egg? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never seen the egg look like this yellow and white. What beats fucking snacking bacon? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I'll take a large iced coffee with milk and uh, one Splenda. Anything else? Uh, yeah, snack and bacon. <laughs> So easy, just put it right in your little cup holder. You yeah, fucking pull it out. Cheesy tots. <laughs> so a raisin cane is coming down here. Go for it, yeah. And I've that, never had it. I literally, I looked at their menu. No, they are like there are five things on the menu. I think that the, so it's the chicken. Fi- they only do chicken fingers. That's the only chicken they do. Really? Chicken fingers. That's it. They do their fries. They do their special sauce. They do their special rolls, which I hear are like like. Rival Texas Roadhouse rolls. Oh, get the fuck out! And then they do a sandwich with all that. <laughs> That's it. That's their whole fucking menu. Really? And you can order in like, like they say like uh, the you know, football pack, a tailgate pack. That's it. It's all they got. Five things. Really? It's insane. What a great fucking. I'm, it I'm, better be good though. I guess. Because so. Milford, we have a pallet here. I've still never had Five Guys. I've still Five never Guys had is all right. Shake and so shake and shake. Shake Shack. Never had that. No, I had it once. I don't. I mean, for chicken though, if you had Popeyes or, I had Jesus chicken first time last year. Who? Chick Fil A. Oh, oh, Chick Fil A. Jesus <laughs> chicken. Jesus chicken. <laughs> they take the day off. Yeah, take the day off on Jesus Day. Uh, the, they're good. Yeah. I bought a uh, uh, shit. What's the one down south? Uh, not Zaxby's. I bought it for red. I was driving Zach, home from Zach's Florida. was pretty damn good. Though. I heard Zach's was good. I never had it. Pretty um, damn good, though. Uh, shit. It's Popeyes, and then it's... Oh, Bojangles. Mm. Bojangles. Bojangies. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. But, I don't know. All right, well, let's wrap this. Dude, this was like one of my longest podcasts, dude. We just fucking shot the shit, and the time flew, baby. Because we haven't seen each other. I know. Time so long. I know. Eddie Braz. My guy. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for uh, having me. Your predictions for the election this year. If Orange Gina <laughs> gets a fucking good running mate, then he'll probably win. If not, it's probably going to be Sleepy Joe and Montel Jordan's old side piece. Montel Jordan's old side piece. That's the sheriff from uh, L.A.? No, Montel oh. Jordan. Who's that? Oh no, Montel Williams. I'm sorry. Oh, Montel Williams. Williams. Montel Jordan was the singer. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh, uh, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> Montel, cause you, you never seen the clips with her where the back in the day? I don't know. I, I don't know, know she blew some sheriff out in LA and rose up the ladder. Hey, listen, a lot of people do that. I don't, I don't, I don't get the, the fix. I don't fault of, you for it. Right. We work in the well, yeah, I mean, I'm not still, gonna blow something. You still work in the bar industry. Yeah, less than zero. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, it, it happens. I guess so. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for listening. Enjoy the weather the next couple days. Looks like it's going to be really nice out there. Uh, Eddie Braz, if you miss him at Stonebridge and keep asking me about him, well, you, now you know what he's doing, where he's at. Uh, he's a Brantford boy. And, uh, not, you know, head up to, uh, you know, give him a text. Head up to Eli's. Meet him at Eli's in Brantford. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, okay. They had, they had a shooting the other day. Did they really? Well, a dude with a gun, I guess. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that's, that yeah. seems to be a norm at yeah. some places now. All over the place. All right, brother. Love you. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank we'll talk after and have some drinks. All right, brother? Love you, too. Peace. Peace.